Hello once again. Welcome to the second episode in the Subnautica playthrough series. Uh, obviously, I'm playing this game a little bit late, at least for uh, a playthrough. Uh, but I've played this game before, you know. I'm just putting this up there just to uh, just, just to get it done. Just to play through the entire game for once. Uh, so that's why I'm going to put it out there on the YouTubes as a playthrough. Alright, so I need some food. Uh, and I don't want to use the rations here. So instead of using the rations, let's go out and hunt. Let's hunt for some food. Now this thing, supposedly, if you kill a fish with it, it's supposed to cook it, from what I understand. I don't know how true that is, though. Ooh. Did it cook it? Oh, it did! That's funny. It's cooked. That's awesome. Uh, who, whoever thought that uh, killing a fish with a hot knife will cook it? Come on, come on. Get... Ooh, a Gary fish. What the heck? That's a weird looking fish. I, I don't care about the metrics. I, I don't really care about the metrics. Ooh, where'd that fish go? Where'd you go, fish? Yeah, whatever. How about this one? Can I grab this fish? These things are hard to get. Alright, so let's get back over here and cook these things up. And then we'll go and, and look at that radio signal that I needed to look at. Cooked fish. A Gary fish, it's one ugly... Well, all fish are ugly to me, but they stink, too. Um, people are like, oh, no, you just had the new fish. It just stink because they're old fish. No, fish stink. They just... I grew up around piers and, and the beaches and things, and fish just stink. Even fresh fish stinks. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we'll wait to consume that water until later. All right, where is... Where, there's a sea glide. Aha. So let's go over here and see what's going on with this life pod over here. <laughs> the sounds in this game are pretty good with the exception of one, maybe two things. These stupid whale sounds that play non-stop everywhere in certain parts of this map. It's just... It, it gets irritating. Uh, it really makes you not want to build in certain areas of the map. Or even explore in certain areas of the map. Alright, so we got that sea glide fragment. Anything else here? No. Looks like there's some junk over there, but nothing of use, I don't think. Except for this. And for this. Anything else I can get in here? No, not really. Alright, so what blueprint did I get? What blueprint is here? Uh, a databank blueprint. Oh, uh, let's see here. I got the scanner room, bioreactor, nuclear waste disposal, what else? Uh, air bladder. Oh, high capacity O2 tank. I think that's what I just got. That might be nice to have. A compass would also be nice to have, perhaps. Uh, okay, some fish, uh, water. All right, fine. Not much really there. Uh, okay, so it's dark out. Uh, I don't particularly find any being useful to really explore much when it's dark. Uh, so let's go... I mean, we can explore. What, what do I have? In... All right, let's do a materials run. Let's do that. Because we're going to need some materials to build stuff. Now, what I'd like to do this episode, but I don't think is going to happen at all, is get the Cyclops, which is a large submarine. Again, that may not happen. Um, 
Oh, wait, I know what I can get. I can get some of this. I'll grab four of those. What do I have? So I have a little bit of inventory room left. That's good. Uh, because the creep vine will become useful eventually. Especially as it becomes time to build a radiation suit. Grab more of that. Anything else here that I want? No, nah, not really. Okay, what else is down here? Doesn't look like much. Alright, let's get back over this way. What I'm going to wait for now is that radiation suit. Uh, blueprint. Because with the radiation suit, we can go and explore... The, ooh, let's get this. We can go explore the, uh, the wreck of the Aurora. which will, And we can find all sorts of goodies in there. Is there salt that I wanted? Yeah, there was salt here. Oh, is that the salt? Yep, yeah, there's the salt. Uh, so that'll be nice uh, when we get that. Oops. So let's get back over here. Oh, is there, did, I already, did I already look in this? I did, yes. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Ah, what a lovely fart diarrhea sound. Alright, let's get back up into here. Do I have another radio message? Nope, no radio message. We're not going to progress on the storyline any right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Fiber mesh. Wait, if I got fiber mesh, I might have the radiation suit. No, I don't. Don't have that yet. Uh, but I can do the high capacity O2 tank, I believe, if I go grab more uh, quartz for the glass. Okay, so there's nothing really that I can do there. Uh, let's put some of this salt in here along with the gold. And let's make the rest of this titanium. And then we'll go get some quartz. Some quartz. Uh, where's the quartz now? Uh, oh, I know where some quartz is. Oh, excuse me. All right. The uh, Where's the crash site? The crash is over this way so I think the quartz is over this way if my memory serves me correctly which it may not oh now we got the radio man well let's go back to the radio listen to the radio message and see where it's going to lead us because where it leads us might be to where we want to go to get the quartz or near to where the quartz is at. Okay, let's listen to this. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, where is that? <laughs> 300 meters. What the heck was that? Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Well, that didn't go as planned, I guess. Let's go back into here and see what the radio has to say. Oh, yes. New blueprint. Yes, that's what I wanted. I wanted that radiation suit. So we, this episode might be an exploration episode. 
The radiation suit is a fiber mesh and lead. Do I have two lead? I have one lead. Two fiber mesh, one, and a two. So we need some lead and some glass. All right. No? All right. So I need some quartz. Um, let's find the quartz more locally. Uh, because... It's not going to... I'm going to need... I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need um, the extra oxygen, the upgraded oxygen tank to get... Ooh, it's kind of dangerous in here, I bet. To get the, uh, down to that 300 meter depth, uh, I'm probably going to need this oxygen. Oh, hello there. Run! Run! Ha ha ha! Ah, oh, nothing for us in there, darn. Is there any, uh... She run <laughs> ah, that was fun that was fun all right so i think i've got everything i need for the glass let's get back down there and uh, see if i can retrieve oh it doesn't look like i can get the uh no oh, let's get this anyway um that glass or, or not the glass the what is that a whole fish uh that was interesting anyway uh let's get back up to the sea moth now i can make that take a tank i believe that upgraded oxygen tank which i'm certainly going to need All right, let's get back up here. And... Oh, no, I need to make the glass first. One glass. And two glass. And... Oxygen tank? Oh. Oh, yeah, I need to do this. Okay, make a silver ore. And then unequip that. Now, I should be able to make it now. Aha! There we go. Look how many seconds we got. 135 seconds. Perfect. Good, good, good. Oh, radiation suit. That's what I needed as well. I don't think I need, I think I need more lead for that, don't I? Uh, yeah, more lead. So, now that we got the oxygen tank, we can get in the sea moth, wherever I left the sea moth. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. What's the battery? 93% battery on the sea moth. Very good. So, we can get over here, and we can probably reach that 300 meter depth. Where is it? Is it over here? Where is it at? Oh, there it is. They really needed to not make this such a unoffensive light blue and by unoffensive i mean a you know bright colors are are bright and wonderful and these subdued colors are it's like for people who are easily offended or something uh anyway uh that beside the point yeah they really needed to make these markers on in this game something other than blue it, like yellow or or something not red because red often means danger but uh something other than blue Ooh, look at this What's here? What kind of goodies are in here? Looks like we got a sea moth fragment, perhaps? What is down here? What is in this place? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Ooh, looks like we'll be able to get into that eventually uh, and get some goodies. Now, you got to be careful during the day, because you can lose track of the Seamoth pretty darn quick. 
uh, if you're not careful. All right, what's over here? Anything? Here's a, now a trick in this game. Depending on your render settings, is if you if you come back up, what you'll see happening is um, eventually these this brush will go away. You see that? That brush cover goes away, and you can kind of see the boxes and stuff. So there's two boxes there. There's some boxes over there, and it looks like there's some crap over that way. So let's get back down here and see if there is anything down here. Anything in that box? No, nope, that box is basically useless. What about over here? Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, shut up. Uh, what about in here? Nope. Nope, nothing in there. All right, so let's continue on our way to over here. <laughs> we'll go and investigate this life pod. And good grief. And then uh, I believe we'll go and explore that... Uh, I'm just plowing through everything. Uh, we'll explore the um, Aurora. Because there's some goodies in there that we certainly want. Now, but you got to be careful with the Seamoth. It has a maximum depth. Which right now, you can see up there at the top, it's 200 meters. It, that In yellow there. Oh, look, there's some more stuff. We'll explore that later. Uh, but the maximum depth is 200 meters. All right. If you go beyond that depth, you are going to be in a world of trouble. A world of pain! Um, whoa, let's, get, let's go back up here just a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do, that is 100 meters away. We're going to grab the Sea Glide. Uh, we got the expanded oxygen tank, or the whatever, the upgraded oxygen tank. So we're going to grab the Sea Glide, go down there, and scan some things. Yeah, so this is why we needed that upgraded tank because the oxygen def oxygen the oxygen deficiency, yes, that's uh very good. The oxygen efficiency is greatly decreased at this depth. Uh what else is in here? Is there anything in here? Yes, there is that. 74 seconds left on our Oxygen, another PDA. Ooh, look at that big... Ooh, we'll need this later. A gel sack. We'll need that. So we'll grab it right now. Um, all right, 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Let's stay stay away from those things right there. All right, so let's get back up top. Or up to the Seamoth. And then we can come back down here and uh, explore a little bit more. Is there anything here to explore? Uh, doesn't... Nope, can't get that. Doesn't look like there's anything here that we need to look at. So let's go back up. Because there were some wrecks. Uh, is there anything right here that needs looked at? No. Alright, so let's go over to these. These wrecks right here. Being careful to not uh, kill ourselves or uh, mess up the sea moth. What's down here? Is there anything in this box? Nope, nothing in that box. Uh, this will be something we can get to later, which I should have already made the welding or the cutting torch thing. Ooh, moon pool fragment. Yes, we'll need that. Uh... Prawn suit. Yes, we'll need the prawn suit. 83 seconds left on oxygen. Another prawn suit arm fragment. Good. Alright, what's down here? Anything in this box? No. 56 seconds on oxygen. What is this? A thermal plant fragment? I think I already have this. Maybe. I don't know. 38 seconds on oxygen. Let's get back up to the Seamoth. 
uh, and continue our exploration of this wreck. All right, so I got everything over here, I believe. Yep, looks like it. So let's move the sea moth a little bit over here. Oh, no, but I don't need to move it over here because we already got everything. What's over here? Yep, there's some stuff over here. So we're going to move the sea moth right here. And let's just move it in the middle of all of this. There we go. Got a new radio message coming in, but I can't obviously can't check that now. Uh, what's this? Nothing. A desk? Yeah, we could scan this desk. I don't know if we'll need it, but we'll scan it anyway. Uh, what's over here? Nothing here. Nothing in there. Nothing in any of these boxes. We'll scan this pole here, this floodlight thing. Uh, what else is in here? Another desk. Uh, 50, 51 seconds left on oxygen. And what we'll do is consume some water. Um, that looks like there's something else to scan over here. Yeah, moon pool fragment. So let's go up to the sea moth. Get in there. And where were those moon pool fragments? I believe right here. Yeah, right there. So we'll grab these moon pool fragments. And that over there, we'll go over and explore that too. So we'll get these real quick. I think we'll be able to build the moon pool right now after this. Yes, moon pool unlocked. Uh, okay. Let's go over here and grab... Where was it? Right, This thing right here. We'll grab that. Uh, anything in here? Nope. All right, so I think we cleaned out this wreck. What's over there? Aurora rendezvous, rendezvous point in, on the dry land. So we will go to the dry land, although not at the moment. Um, I think what we might actually do, we might have a change of plans. Let's get back to the uh, this thing over here, the escape pod. Let's get back to that. Uh, is there anything else we can explore down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So we'll get back to this thing over here. Oh, wait, there's looks. Oh, it looked like it was a wreck there before it was rendered in completely, uh, before the level of detail kicked in. So let's get back over here. Uh, and let's put some of our stuff away. Let's see what we can build. Take. Let's just assess what's going on. Let's just assess our situation. Yeah, see these things right here? These, they're... Passive mobs, but they just make constant noise, constant racket. You can't turn it off. It's just ridiculous. So 400 meters until we're back over here. Uh, it doesn't look like we see anything else here, really. So, or like there's anything else we need here. Oh, wait. Maybe did we already get this one? We may have already gotten this. Oh, no, there's something in there we didn't get. That looks like a sea glide fragment. That's fine. It's extra titanium. All right. Let's get back up here. I got to repair this thing, too. Because it is tore up from the floor up. Oh, I needed a uh, lead. That's what I needed. Let's So let's go back here. And see what this resource node has for us. Nope, that's silver. But I'm not going to complain about getting silver, because silver is useful. Uh, this is going to be slot 3. And let's repair this thing, because it's, it's looking rough. There we go, we'll get in. Alright, continuing on. Uh, we need more lead. Where is some lead? Well, do I have enough room for lead? Oh, I got plenty of room. Oh, looks like we might find lead here. Maybe. 
Yes, piece of lead. Aha. Now these creatures uh, right here that are playing with these uh, scraps, they drop teeth that you end up needing to make stuff. And there's a tooth right there. Perfect. Let's grab it. Because these are, uh, they're a little bit hard to come by. And we could, you know, usually have to you sit, sit here and wait. Oh, there's another tooth. Awesome. So let's grab that one too. We got two teeth. I don't think I'll need any more for a while. Uh, what's over there? No, I don't need that. Okay, so let's go back to... Let's get out of this hole first. And let's go back to the life pod thing. There we go. And let's go in. We'll listen to this. Uh, oh, I think I can... There we go. I got the radiation suit. Perfect. So I think the radiation suit is automatically donned. Yes, it's automatically donned. Very good. And you blew it, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. Whole fish. Okay. So at this point, we could do uh, two different things. We could go and explore the... Um, what is it? The Aurora? Or we can go and explore a dry island. Well, let's go up here first. Is this the island I want to explore? Yes, it is. This is the island that I want to explore. You see this, like, cloudy thing? This is where islands are, and this cloudy thing is where another island is. All right? Spoiler, right? Um, so this is the one I want to go to to get some base building parts. Okay? Oh, another spoiler. The base building parts are over there. Um, but I could also go on the Aurora which is a shorter option. I think we'll go to the island. Um, and then the, we can leave the Aurora for its own episode. So, oops, here we go. We got one of these. We will put it in there, along with this will become useful later. Um, okay, 65% charge on there. I th think... I think we'll be good to get over to the island. Yeah, we should be good. So we'll go over to the island. 79% on the sea moth for charge. So we'll probably be, I'm sure we'll be good there. Yeah, we'll be fine. So when we get to the island, we're going to find some stuff that we can use to drink and eat, or well, drink and eat, to eat, and it will give us water and uh, sustenance. Actually, should I... One, two, three, four, five, six. I got room for six plants. Yeah, I think I got enough. We'll we'll mess with the uh the uh inventory if we need to when we get over there. So this is the next point in the story, either way, uh is to get over to this rendezvous point. Uh over here, the rendezvous point. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to do something. I forgot to do something. We need to make a welder. Or a, uh, not a welder, a cutter. Uh, what do I need for that? Mm, oh, a laser cutter. Oh, I don't know the, all the ingredients. Okay, well, never mind. We're not going to... We're not going to do that. We're going to go to the island. Although I think the laser cutter... Stuff is found around this area. Some of it. I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go to the island.
and the ooh, it's getting deep, deep, deep. So you can upgrade the uh, depth, like I said, uh, for the sea moth. Um, that's later stage in the game, though. Um, uh, we'll get the Cyclops eventually, which is a nice sub. That can house the sea moth in it. You can dock the sea moth up inside that submarine. Or you can dock the uh, other machine that is very useful. Yeah, well, that was interesting. Um, the other machine up in there, and that machine is the uh, Cyclops. I think it's this one. Or is it this one over here? I don't remember. Oh, well, either way, doesn't matter. All right, so let's get our knife out because there's creatures here that we don't want to deal with. Let's get the knife out. And we will begin doing this. There we go. Now, we have our food and fluid. Perfect. Oops. Uh, we'll grab two more of those. There we go. Uh, so I think we can scan that. Yeah, let's just scan things. Just to, you know, scan things. All right. Uh, can I scan that? I can scan this stuff, though, right here. I can scan these other things over here. Like that. Uh, what else can I scan? I think that's about it. That's all I need to scan. So we'll go down here on this dry land uh, thing. I think this is the way. Oh no, this isn't the way. Oops, oh well. Let's jump in. Oh god, this is scary to me. Look at that, just nothingness. Oof. Don't look down, don't look down, look up, look up, there we go. Don't look down, don't look down, oh my god, oh, oof. There we go, alright. that and to get back up i think we go over here i th is it here no it's over here aha uh pink cap did i already scan the pink cap i did not there we go uh no can't scan that all right let's get cracking on this we got places to be, things to scan, blueprints to unlock. All right, so I need to get up on, well, you can't see it from here, but there's 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 two hills up here that we want to get up on top of in order to unlock blueprints. Ooh, what's this? I don't think I've ever scanned this. Oh, yeah, I've scanned this before. Long ago. Long ago. I don't know what this does, but... Alright, so we need to get up there. Uh, and getting up there is this way, I believe. Or one of the ways is this way. You can come around the back side of this, too, uh, and get up. And the back side is right over here. But we'll end up going down there eventually. we got to scan some stuff down there. Uh, but we want to get, or at least I want to get up on top of this hill first. And then... Scan. Scan the bulkhead. Taking forever to scan the bulkhead. Thank you all. Get this stuff in here, whatever's in here, that water, uh, a PDA... Uh, what else can I scan? Is there something else I can scan? I can scan the observatory. Yes, I don't think I've ever used observatory. Well, I know I think I did once. It didn't really do anything, though. It was just like, oh, look, I can look out in the water. All right. I can look out in the water. English. Um, there we go. Fern palm. I'm definitely going to need this. Planter. A grub basket. I don't know what any of this crap does. A uh, lantern tree. 
All right. And what is this in the back? A Jaffa cup. Okay. Good. Good for me. All right. Spotlight. Yes, we want one, please. Let's consume that. Yummy goodness. All right. Now we got to go down there and then up there. So let's go down, 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 down the ring of fire. Okay, uh, if you got the ring of fire, you might want to uh, visit the doctor. That's beside the point. All right, come down here. Now there's some enemies down here. There's some creatures. There's one. See it? Running. There's another one. Creepy little things. Disgusting little thing. Little spidery creatures need to die. Die, creature. You die too, creature. Hey, what? What? How are you carrying me? That's weird, but okay, sure. Yeah, okay, that's dead. Creepy looking things are dead. Uh, I don't really want these potatoes, uh, but we'll just scan them anyway. Exterior grow bed. Yes, scan that because we'll need that for some uh, stuff. Uh, later, some useful things that are used for production. All right. Uh, is that creature in here? No, it's not. Now, there is another creature in here somewhere, but he's over there. All right. Or maybe it's up there. I can't... Oh, multi-purpose room. Yes, we'll need that for sure. This is the main thing I came over here for. There we go. All right, so let's get going over here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just another spotlight. All right, where's that filthy little thing at? Oh, he's over here, I bet. You in here? Huh? You filthy little spidery thing. Yeah, wall planter. I don't need that, but eh, well, I'll scan it anyway, right? Use the ladder. All right, well, we'll use the ladder, but we're going to get our knife first. All right, where's that creepy little spider at? Where are you at? Ugly little spider. I, I don't like spiders, by the way. I'm arachnophobic. <laughs> I, I, I know, I sound like some... Ah! Sound like some hypochondriac... Chondriac, you see in a Twitch chat that says they've got, like, all sorts of freaking disorders, right? My, my, uh, ADD and... It's like, well, have you been diagnosed with your ADD? Uh-huh, right, okay. And they're, uh, oh, what is it? ADD and, uh, what's the other one that's... People are always like, oh, this is really triggering my whatever they have that's not diagnosed. OCD, yeah, that's another one. Oh, these lines aren't straight. They're really triggering my OCD. Not, not, that's not a, a knock on people who actually have been diagnosed with OCD. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, for me, uh, arachnophobic, uh, deathly scared of spiders. Oh, well, any eight-legged creatures. If it's got more than six legs, I ain't, I ain't want any part of it. I, I run like a freaking, yeah, I'm gone. That and, and whatever, I can't remember what the, uh, th thalassophobia, I believe is what it's called, when you're scared of deep water. Other than that, I'm pretty good. Uh, ooh, composite plant pot. Yes, yes. Uh, marble melon, Chinese taters. Uh, what else do we got? Anything else? Oh, a chair, because I don't think I'll need that, but let's scan it anyway. All right. I think I've scanned out everything that is going to... Oh, just a weird-looking shadow. I've, I've done everything over here that I need to do, uh, I think. So let's go back down and head back to 
the life pod. Now the thing that we're going to need to do before we go back to the life pod is gather some plants. Which plants do I want to gather? Well, I've got one, two, three, four slots, four plants. Um, can I get rid of something? I'd like to have five. Oh, I don't have five. Uh, yeah, five, five slots for plants is good enough. Uh, so let's go back down here. Now that I've, you know, established that I got plenty of room. Ooh, what's in here? Hello, what are you? A stasis rifle. Aha. Okay, now that I've got, uh, I, I know that I have extra room to bring back things. Let us grab one Chinese potato. One marble melon. Um, and we'll go over the, up to the back, up to this thing here. Uh, we'll grab, um, hmm, what will we grab? Uh, what will we grab? What will we grab? We'll grab one of those. Okay, we've got two slots left. And I need to leave one slot for something very important. I don't know what I want to uh, grab here. Uh, grub basket? Fern palm? I, mean, I do like the fern palm. Let's see if we can get one of these. I do like the way that looks. It might be good for decor. So it's getting a little bit dark. I don't want to be around here when it's dark, even though there's not really creatures that will attack you. At least uh, there there are in some areas. Uh, we'll just say that. Oh, we need a light. Uh, but if you know how to outrun them, you'll be fine. All right, there we go. Light bulb, good. Light bulb. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right, so we got to get over here, but before we get over here, I want to go right over there and gather one of those funky tree-looking things. Uh, one of these right here. This is going to be the bread and butter, essentially, of everything. All right, so let's get back down here to the sea moth and go back to... The survival pod, escape pod, whatever you want to call Oh my god, this is Ugh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. I I could not do this game in VR. I would probably poop a brick. <laughs> Alright, so once we get back here, um, I think we'll be done for this episode once we get back to the lifeboat here. And then, uh, let's see, what do I need? I need to figure out, which I'll probably do offline, um, or out, outside the video. Go do some scanning for uh, that laser cutter, because uh, that's going to be something we need when we get go and explore the Aurora. We're going to need that. So if I want to uh, next episode go and explore the aurora i'm going to need to have a laser cutter and i don't want to spend an episode looking for a stupid laser cutter <laughs> so look at that nice kelp forest all right i think we're over the deep part of the thing now i can look down all right so there we go now we can relax it's all good Ooh, are there teeth oh no i I think I might have room for one or two, no, two more items, I believe. Two more one, one slot items. Oh, there's a tooth. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, as I said before, we're not going to need this right now, but we will need them eventually. And the time is going to be coming up very shortly when, in fact, it might be next episode. I don't know. Uh, we'll just play it by ear. When we will leave 
Is there a tooth in that? Nah, it doesn't look like it. When we will leave the, uh, what are you doing? What, is there like something that's swimming around me that's just trying to attack like a jerk but not being very successful at it? Um, we're going to leave the, uh, life pod or uh, escape pod and, uh, set up, set up a base, uh, is what we're going to be doing. Maybe that's next episode. Maybe it's the episode after. I don't know. Um, are you going to drop a tooth? A toothus? Was that a tooth or was that just a... Yep, there's a tooth right there. Perfect. I think I'm full now. Inventory should be full. Yep, it is. All right, so I, I'm pretty sure that that's all the teeth I will need for the foreseeable future. So let's get back over to the uh, escape pod. Let's take a survey of what we have. And uh, then end the episode here. All right. Whack right into the fish. So from this point forward, what's nice is we're not going to need food. We're not going to need to, well, we'll need food, but we're not going to need to, um, like, look for food. Because we have this thing right here, this bulbo tree. And those are good for food and water. As you can see there, it says food 3, uh, H2O5. So that's it's good, it's good, it's good. It takes a lot of them to eat, but that's fine, because I, I grow a lot of them anyway. Uh, ooh, old marble melon. Food is 9, and H2 is 11. That might be even better than this bulbo tree sample. A fern palm seed. Okay, so this doesn't do anything. This is just for decoration, and that's fine. Uh, so anyway, uh, I think we did pretty well for this episode. Uh, and the next episode, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we may build the base, start building a base, or we may work on getting to the Aurora and uh, getting the prawn suit so we can go deeper, like 900 meters deep, and explore more things and get more resources and so on and so forth. Anyway... Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next episode.